welcome to another live broadcast. Welcome, everyone. And today we're going to be looking at septic tank installation. That's right. We're going to be having a look at a few things to do with septic tank installation. And some of the most popular questions I've been asked at the moment are, um, which are the best septic tanks to install? Which are the easiest septic tanks to install? Uh, which are the best soak away products to buy? Which are the best soak away products to install? So that's what we're going to be discussing today. So here is your installation guide. So welcome, everyone. So let me crack straight into this for you. Right. OK, so let me get everything up here. All right. On my technology. So first of all, I'm going to start by saying there's two types of septic tanks on the market, two types of septic tanks. So let me just get these up here. All right. So the two types of septic tanks on the market are an onion tank and what I call a bullet shaped septic tank. All right. So I'm going to show you the difference between the two tanks, because this is very important, because depending on which tank you go for will really determine the cost of how much it's going to cost you to install your septic tank system, how easy or how difficult it is. So let me get straight into this and show you what I mean by that. All right, so there's two types of septic tanks on the market. You've got your onion-shaped septic tank. Now, these particular septic tanks have been around since, man alive, since the 80s, something like that, late 80s. And they're very popular because they're cheap and they're made of fiberglass and people buy them because they are cheap and they think they're saving money when they buy them. All right. So that's why they're popular. The second type of tank is the bullet shaped septic tank. So that is the difference between the two tanks. OK, one is kind of like an upside down light bulb and the other is almost looks like a bullet. It's the same color as a bullet. It's strong like a bullet. And it's very shallow. So let me show you uh, the difference regarding septic tank installation uh, regarding both tanks. And then you can make your own decision uh, or mind up as to which you think is the best septic tank for you. So let's start with the onion shaped septic tank. OK, let's start with the onion shaped septic tank. All right. So let me show you typically how to install an onion shaped septic tank. Let me show you what's involved. OK, so let me just get this up here. So bear with me a second. All right. So that's the tank in question. There we go. We've just seen it. There's your onion shaped septic tank. Now, with an onion shaped septic tank like that, you need quite a big digger to start with. And that's because onion shaped septic tanks are about 11 to 12 foot in height minimum, they get deeper and deeper as you go, okay? Uh, the, the bigger the tank that you buy for the corresponding number of bedrooms. But, all right, you need a big uh, digger with them. All right, so let's start here by showing you, right, the first thing you do. So the first thing you do, right, is you dig a hole, <laughs> well, obviously, but it's a deep hole. So that is why you need a big Set a, a big digger to dig the hole for you. All right, then on the um, onion shaped septic tank, you'll notice here are, is what is called lifting eyes. There's some lifting eyes, and let me show you why they are so important on the onion shaped septic tank. Because the next one I want to show you now is there we go. All right, so there's your digger. You actually need a special rope, right, which goes around the arm of the digger and it actually fits into the eyes of the onion tank. OK, so that allows you to kind of lower it um, above the hole. All right. So you can get it all set and all ready. OK, and wait until it stops like swinging like a pendulum and it's set there. And then when you've done that. You can just lower the tank into the hole 
like so. All right. Now, once you've got it in position, all right, and um, with the ropes and it's just holding it there in position, the next thing you need to do with the onion shaped septic tank is that you need to put an anchor around the bottom of it. All right. So just like so. So an anchor normally consists of a big concrete uh, lintel or platform at the bottom. Then you've got some straps which go around the septic tank. And the reason you've got to anchor these onion tanks down is because if it's rained a lot, all right, if it's been raining, then the water, uh, the, 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 the groundwater, the ground can be quite sodden with water, can be quite wet. And because it takes quite a while to dig the hole for the onion tank and then set up the anchoring stuff, in one day, the hole is normally dug, normally takes a day to dig the hole. You put the tank in and then the workers go home for the night and then come back the next morning. But what happens as a rule is if it rains or there's any water in the hole, the tank will just pop out of the ground. It'll just float up like a sponge or a, or a plastic duck in the bath. Pop. They just pop straight to the surface. So you've got to anchor them down. OK, so once you've done that, the next thing that you do, let's say this, we're on day two now. The next thing is that you've got to concrete them in. So you've got to get the cement mixer in. All right. So there's one I, <laughs> I ordered earlier. All right. So typically it costs anywhere from six, seven, eight, nine hundred pounds to concrete a septic tank into the ground. So you get your cement mixer in. All right. And when he's in place, you then fill the hole around the tank. So if I just put the grass back a second. So if you're wondering what, so that's what it will look like. Okay, so I just cut away that section for you so you could see easier. But this is what the hole would look like with the septic tank in. All right, so you've got the uh, concrete mixer there. All right, so let me just take the grass away again. All right, so now what you do is it's time to put the concrete into the hole. So let's do that. Okay, there you go. So you concrete, you literally, <laughs> let me put the lid on there. Hold on, let me just put the lid on there. Where's the tank gone? All right, all right. In fact, let me show it to you this way. Uh, bear with me a second. There we go, that's better. That's what I wanted to show you. All right, so when you've put the concrete in the hole, it will go all the way around the tank, all right? Don't worry about the concrete in the uh, <laughs> in the onion tank there. That's just uh, an animation error. But the point is, you've got to put a concrete blanket around the tank or the manufacturers won't warranty it. So once you've concreted the tank and put it all in, literally, you're then ready to go. And that's basically how to install, that's how to install a concrete uh, an onion shaped septic tank into the ground. All right, now let me show you. Now remember this is called, the, what's the difference between an onion tank and a bullet shaped septic tank, okay? Well, I've got one more thing to show you about the onion tank and that's the soak away. Now, let me just show you this, there you go. Now here's an onion shaped septic tank. With an onion shaped septic tank, because the outlet pipe is quite a depth below the grass, You've got to create a massive soak away area, right? And that soak away area, you then got to put um, a hell of a mount of a bed of shingle. And why have you got the shingle down? Because on top of the shingle, you have to put soak away pipe. So this is what a typical septic tank and soak away look like for an onion shaped septic tank. So as you can see, right? It's pretty straightforward to to um, to install an onion shaped septic tank and the soak away, but it takes a long time to do so. So you're talking a day to dig the hole for the onion tank, uh, six, seven, eight, nine hundred quid on concrete. Then you've got to wait a day for it to set. Then it's going to take you another two, three days to do the soak away. So for me personally, although the onion shape septic tanks are 
cheaper to buy. You, they are cheaper to buy compared to the bullet shaped septic tanks. You normally end up spending an extra fifteen hundred two grand in addition to the shallow septic tanks that you can buy because you've got to get you know you've got to spend your concrete you've got to spend hundreds of pounds on shingle and stuff like that so that is how the onion shaped septic tank has been installed over the last i don't know 20 years but technology's moved on science has moved on a long way let me now show you the bullet shaped septic tank okay so here again is scenario number two, all right? So I've shown you scenario number one, what, what it takes to put an onion-shaped septic tank and herringbone soak away in. Let me show you this, okay? So here's your typical house again, all right? So the first thing that you would do from your house, you would dig a trench, all right? So there we go. So that trench would go to your house and it would go to your soil pipe, all right? The next thing you would do is dig a hole for the septic tank so there you go that's pretty straightforward isn't it so far all right you've got a trench and you've got a hole for your septic tank so now let me just take the grass away here and show you a little bit about the bullet shaped septic tank now the beauty with the bullet shaped septic tanks is that they're very shallow very very shallow indeed now when i say shallow let me just show you a quick comparison of the difference in height so there you go so there you can see a difference in height on the left you've got your onion shaped septic tank and that's a small onion shaped septic tank and there you've got your equivalent uh, size septic tank capacity wise they're both the same capacity believe it or not they're both 3,000 liters but you can see that the onion shaped septic tank is almost two-thirds deeper right uh, goes deeper than the bullet shaped septic tank. So benefit of the new low profile tanks, number one, is that it only takes 40 minutes to dig the hole for the bullet shaped septic tank instead of taking a day, you know, <laughs> with the with, with the onion shaped septic tank. Right, so there you go. So you've put your bullet shaped septic tank into the ground. Then the next thing you do, you would, or maybe even to do this first, actually, let me put this in, there you go. You'd connect your pipe from your house, and that would go straight into your septic tank there. All right. Now, the next bit, you're going to love this, right? You're going to love this. This is my favorite. This is my favorite bit. This is. Then all that you need to do is dig another little hole like that, and then you put a pipe on the outlet of the bullet-shaped septic tank, and then you connect um, a German um what i call like a german silk chamber and so if you've got any sanitary towels any 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 nappies any baby wipes they'll actually get trapped in there so they won't cause you any problems or block your system up okay then this is the best have a look at this right this is my favorite these are called septic tank soak away crates they're amazing so you literally put the septic tank soak away crates into the hole now, at this juncture, I've just got to say to you, many people get confused about the difference between rainwater crates and septic tank soak away crates. There's a world of difference. You can't use rainwater crates for your septic tank soak away. You must use septic tank soak away crates. There is a difference. So if you see on the Internet, oh, you can't use crates for your septic tank and soak away. They're right. You can't use rainwater crates, but you can use septic tank crates. OK, so once you've done that, once you put your crates um, into the thing. So let me put the grass back on and show you what it looks like uh, when I say put the grass back on because I've got this cross right section. So this is what it will look like. OK, OK, so up to now, it's taken about an hour and a half to get this far. So <laughs> while you're still digging the hole for the onion tank, you've almost put the complete septic tank and soak away in for this. All right. So once you've done that, then all that you do is connect the um, uh, where are we? The, the pipe. Oh, sorry. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Oh, yeah. There we go. So then all that you do is connect the pipe into the septic tank crates like that. Just cut a little hole in the crates and the pipe extends, goes in for about, I don't know, half a foot, foot, something like that. And then you cover the crates with membrane. Bang, look at that. And you're basically almost done now. So all that there is left to do is to cover 
the uh, crates with um, soil. So let me do do that. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Oh yeah, here we are. Technology. It's getting used to this. Bang! There you go. It's as simple as that. Just cover them with soil and then turf them or seed them, and then you cover, put the soil all right around the German inspection chamber in the hole here for the bullet-shaped septic tank. The beauty with these tanks is that you don't need any concrete whatsoever. You don't need any concrete, so you don't have to spend six, seven, eight hundred quid concreting them. All that you need to do, and watch this, is put some shingle around the tank literally 20 to 30 mil shingle look at that how easy is that take you about half an hour to do okay look at that so you just put the shingle around the tank and then once you've done that you literally just cover the tank over with topsoil job done all right and then last of all all that you've got to do now is cover the trench that you made again cover that with soil and so there you go in literally three hours right in three hours you've got a complete septic tank and soak away installed now the beauty about this is that you can do it your builder can do it with no experience and let me just show you this right people ask me oh you know where how do you where do you get this so let me just show you this okay uh, if you just go to septictank.co.uk, whenever you're ready, you don't have to do it now. I don't have to do it now. But uh, let's just just let's load up for a second and show you the internet. has been a bit slow tonight. There we go. All right, where are we? All right, okay. So you'll find on the front of my um, of my on my shop, septictank.co.uk, you'll see there that you've got septic tank soak away kits. And if you click that, you can then. Um, it will then you if you've got one to two bedrooms there's a kit there if you've got three to four bedrooms there's a kit etc etc if you click on that now now as you know to put a septic tank and soak away in you can cost anywhere from six seven eight nine to ten thousand quid let me show you the price for a complete septic tank and soak away kit have a look at this one four nine nine for a complete septic tank soak away kit that takes you three hours to install. So that's what it looks like when it's in. But let me show you what you get. Um, you get all the pipe work and it's and it's socketed. So that means you don't need any connectors. They're all molded. You get all the pipe work. You get the ins German inspection chamber. You get the low profile septic tank. You get the septic tank soak away crates. You get 100 quid's worth of membrane that comes with the crates. And I even throw in a free 100 pound riser with the septic tank. So there you go. I hope that's helped you. So just coming back to our original question, what is the best between an onion septic tank and a bullet shaped septic tank? Well, for me personally, you cannot beat the low profile septic tanks. The onion shaped septic tanks were good in their heyday. Um, they're only popular today because people don't know there's an alternative to the onion shaped septic tank. Right? They just don't know there's an alternative to it. And so people normally buy the onion shaped septic tanks because they're cheaper to buy. They see a tank on, on, on the Internet. Oh, it's four nine nine instead of five nine nine. So they buy it, but they don't realize to put these in, you've got to spend an extra flame in six, seven, eight hundred quid in, 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 in putting the concrete around it. You've got to buy a bigger digger. It takes you five times longer to do so what saved you 200 quid up front has cost you like 1800 quid on the back end 1800 quid more than you should have paid the low profile tanks for me personally i like them because they take 40 minutes 50 minutes to install you backfill them with, with, with shingle and you can get your whole septic tank and soak away in in less than three hours so for me personally the bullet shaped septic tank wins hands down every time so listen thank you very very much for taking the time to watch this broadcast i'm back tomorrow if you if you want to see if you want to see more videos if you want to see a rerun of this if you want to see free information free, free information there's no sales pictures it's just free information and free tips and free advice excuse me then all you need to do are when you go to septictank.co.uk just go to you just go to here, septic tank uh, TV, 
And Septic Tank TV is like a, the first, the UK's first Septic Tank TV channel. There's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos I've done on there to help you, all right, to help you for free. All right, so that help will help you for free to um, to install your septic tanks, whatever. You know, give you if you've got any questions, any queries, you know, whatever, then that will really help you. So listen, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this live broadcast today. Have a great weekend and um, I'll speak to you soon.